So this lab, we're going to have the students explore the factors that affect impulse and momentum. We're then going to use our relationship that we discover to find the thrust of a fire extinguisher and to make predictions on things we didn't measure. So when the students hit begin, they will get an astronaut of randomly generated mass and a fire extinguisher with a randomly generated thrust. They will not know the thrust of the fire extinguisher. They can activate the fire extinguisher for any time up to 10 seconds. Here we did about 5.1 seconds. We allow the astronaut to pass through the photo gates and we get the time. Using the 10 meters that separate the gates and the time that they're between the gates, we can get the velocity of the astronaut. We want to record the time as our independent variable, so in this case maybe 5.08 seconds, and we want to record the velocity of the astronaut passing through the gates. You want to have students do at least five trials of different times, so we already did five seconds. Maybe this next time we could aim for six seconds, and I got it right on the money. Again, they would find the velocity, and they'd write down the time of fire. After they collect their data, they want to go to a graphing program, as I did here, time on the x, velocity on the y. Again, this is the time you're firing the fire extinguisher, and you should get a really nice proportional graph. The equation should be velocity equals the slope times the time of firing. The slope should equal the thrust of the fire extinguisher divided by the mass of the astronaut. So when we go back to our program, students are going to be asked to type in their slope. They're going to be asked to make a prediction based on a time that they were not able to actually collect. So they would use their equation with the time they're given to figure out what the velocity would have been. Then they're going to find the thrust of the fire extinguisher by using the slope times the mass of the astronaut. That should give them the thrust. So I hope I gave you enough information to have your students use this program to explore the relationship between the time of fire and the speed gained by the astronaut. Hopefully they can then make predictions based on this relationship.